Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and welcome back to Bravo's Scariest Movie Moments Challenge. Now, this is the segment I'm doing with my good buddy, Joe the Horror Man, where we're going to look at all 143 of Bravo's Scariest Movie Moments spread out over three specials. We're going to tell you the moment, whether we agree or disagree. If we disagree, we'll give one of our own and a few along the way. Today we're going to be talking about The Sentinel. Now The Sentinel is from 1977 and it comes in at number 46 on the first list of Bravo's Top 100 Scary Movie Moments. And the part that they depict is the old man in the apartment when he first appears to the lady. It's scary. It's gory, and it's freaking awesome. <laughs> and I'm going to completely agree with that moment, but here's a couple more. Uh, towards the end, when you find out exactly, because I don't want to spoil it for anyone in case they haven't seen it, when you find out exactly what is going on in this film, and you start seeing all of these other um, ghosts and demons trying to stop the woman from fulfilling her destiny. You have a a bunch of um, like sideshow freaks. I know because they've been in other films. Uh, a bunch of uh, dwarves, which actually was cut from a couple of the other versions of the film, and naked women. <laughs> So that's also pretty creepy. And the seeing that old man in the window from time to time in this film is also pretty creepy. Okay. I was never that big on this film. I think when I was younger and I saw it, it was a little too weird for me. And I remember getting a three-pack. I was talking to Joe about this the other day. I got a three-pack, which had The Legacy, which is one of my favorite um, 70s horror films. It had The Sentinel, and it had... <laughs> no, that wasn't me, Breaking Wind. That was actually the name of the movie. Um, so, <clears throat> of course, I bought it for The Legacy, but I figured I would almost I would also give the Sentinel another try, and it still it was better, but it still didn't do it for me. Well, that was a long time ago. I got that DVD, and I had since gotten the um, the I think it's the MGM DVD or one of the singular DVDs that I found in a thrift store. And when I watched it this time, I absolutely loved it. Um, our tastes change as we grow older, um, as our mood changes, our tastes change. So maybe I wasn't in the mood for something as weird as this film, because it does get weird in certain spots, um, especially when they first meet Beverly D'Angelo in this film. People who have seen it <laughs> will probably know what I'm talking about. It's very odd. Um... But this has a plethora of stars and is such a great film. I kind of get why people love it so much now. So I'm definitely going to recommend it, even though that's not what this video is for. But um, yeah, check this one out. If you have checked it out before and maybe you didn't like it, remember, I didn't either. But I gave it another try. And I really enjoyed it this time. So, yeah. Uh, don't. What is your favorite scary movie moment from The Sentinel? Definitely comment below. And don't forget to check out Joe's pick for a scariest movie moment for The Sentinel. Remember, guys, physical media matters. And until next time, peace. Thank you.